Sorry, there we go. One of the most important things when it comes to vlogs, in my opinion, the way that I do them, is to not think linear. Because when you're thinking linear, when it comes to creating a vlog, that you also need to stick with the day from like start to finish. But if you start flipping things around, then you can make your entire video more interesting. This entire video is gonna start at this very point in time, where I'm gonna tell you about the journey that I had to do in order to be able to get here to the office today. Because this day started on a remote island up in the archipelago, just outside of Strömstad. And this is what I had to do in order to get to the studio. First, what you have to do is a pretty short walk from the house they live in down to the harbor. And man, his granddad has been a fisherman for, I don't know, maybe like 60 years or something like that. And since he has his own boat, he takes us from the island back into the city. Usually the way that I go about a vlog is that I try to capture things that feel important for the day or for the story to progress. And I usually don't have anything planned whenever I start the vlog. It's more like, okay, is this part gonna be interesting to have in a video when I sit down and edit? And if I don't feel that what I'm doing is not gonna be interesting for the vlog, then I just don't shoot it. For example, if I'm sitting around waiting for one and a half hour of something to happen, then what I usually do is that I shoot a time-lapse. And I'm also using my phone a whole lot. And the reason that I'm using the iPhone right now is solely because of AirDrop. It just makes things so much easier when you want to transfer the footage from your iPhone to your computer because you don't have any cables, it just goes super smooth. And whenever I'm shooting with the iPhone, I always have three things in mind. Ultra-wide, wide, and telezoom. If I can have all of those three shots whenever I'm doing something, then it usually makes the entire sequence a whole lot more interesting. But if I don't have the possibility to switch between different lenses, and I'm only using a lens such as this one, then what I try to do is to think, okay, how can I make this fun in the editing process. And this video is edited in a program that's called HitFilm provided by FX Home. And the reason that I wanna say this is because not only are they sponsoring this video, but also because I'm gonna show you how to edit this vlog later in this video. Without a doubt, one of the questions that I get the most when it comes to vlogs is how do you know what to shoot? There's probably gonna be very few people that actually enjoy looking at you, filling up your car at the gas station or going shopping and all that stuff. But if you can edit that to be somewhat interesting, maybe just five seconds of quick cut clips or something similar, then you have made something interesting that was boring and that can make the entire vlog interesting, if that makes sense. One of the worst things that you can do, for example, when you're doing one of these things in your vlogs is to say that you are going to do it. For example, if you say, hey, I'm just gonna fill up my car before we can go ahead and drive where we're going to go, then you basically just revealed what is going to happen before you show it to the audience, which kind of takes away the entire point of showing you filling up your car. The good thing with video is that you can always reconstruct the story after it has been shot. And that's why I always say, document what you do and then talk about what you did it and why. And the more you practice on this, the more you're gonna get into the habit of doing things. But it's also very important that you don't forget to bring the audience along in your videos and what it is that you do. But since our brain is very good at connecting different things that we do when we're watching a video, we don't have to explain everything that we do. And when it comes to making videos and making vlogs, I always try to think of the editing part of said vlog because that is how we make it interesting. That is how we create the fast paced video that you see on my vlog channel. So, editing. Now you now we're talking with uh, a little bit of coffee here and uh, a little bit of editing and microphone is here and all good uh, nice hitting record so we get a little bit of a crispy audio I'm not entirely sure how good this sounds though but 
I'm going to hope that it sounds good. FX Home provides free video editing softwares for creators. When they asked me if I wanted to make a video on this program, I was actually very interested because when I started my own filmmaking journey, like way back before I even picked up a camera, I was actually doing a little bit of simple edits in a program that was called HitFilm. And FX Home now has HitFilm in their arsenal and provides this for free to creators such as you and me. And the cool thing with HitFilm is not only that anyone can access it, you can try it out and you can you know, start your own projects with the program, but also that you have an integrated library of sound effects and music that you can use so that the entire learning process gets way more intuitive when you want to start out your projects. Let's jump into it, shall we? The first thing that we're going to do is to create a new project. And when it comes to the resolution and frame rate, this totally depends on what kind of computer that you have. But I'm going to choose 4K because most of my videos are shot in 4K. The next thing we're going to do is import all the media so that we can pick and choose the things that we want to use in the video. Once you have all the clips imported into your library, the first thing that you want to do is, of course, to choose the clips that you want to use in the video. And what I usually do when it comes to my videos is that I start from the beginning and then move my way through the clips because that makes it easier when I edit. And then once I'm done, I can just rearrange the clips and move them into place where I want them to be. But we're going to start with the first one and drag this to the timeline. And as you can see it looks kind of washed out you don't have a good vibrant look to it so we're going to go into the effects and we're going to type in LUT and then we're going to drag the LUT onto the clip and then I want to go into the effects and say bros for file you probably already know this but I do have my own LUT that is called the vlog LUT which is basically created to be a perfect LUT for the vlogs that I do and the videos that I shoot with my Sony 7S III. If you're shooting in S-Log3, this is a very good LUT for you to use on that footage. I'm going to drop a link in the description down below. I got a feeling that we want to have a little bit start in the motion. Take there and then we're going to hit C, which is the cutting tool. And then we're just going to cut it. And then we're going to press V for the select tool. And then we're going to delete that. We're going to move this back and let's hit spacebar. Scroll through, see what we can do. Cut it somewhere around here. And then we can choose R, which is ripple delete. And then we can just scrub this down to the next segment, which I think should be somewhere around here. And then you can see that the clip goes from us walking to the next shot, which is kind of cool. So we didn't have to do the, the cut and delete on that end. But something that I think is really cool with this program is the library of music and sound effects. Being able to have this integrated into what we are doing here is just golden because then you don't have to open up Artlist in order to be able to get the songs that you wanna have. So I'm gonna choose hip hop and I'm gonna try to see if we can find a song. Oh yes, thank you. Just gonna hit download on that and we are gonna hit the plus add to media. And you can see that we have, will you dance with me? We're gonna drag this onto the timeline. So now we have the beginning of the vlog done and then we just do the same thing over and over until we have some sort of like feeling of how the vlog is going to turn out. Whenever I'm editing a video, one of the things that I always try to keep in mind is to only look through the last cut that you did. Don't scroll back to the beginning of the video because if you do that, you're gonna lose so much time trying to perfect something that is not even finished, if that makes sense. Once you are done with the video, that is when you can go back and look through the entire video. Looking at the timeline now, you can see that we have approximately a minute, a minute and a half of talking head. And I feel like we need a little bit of a break to make sure that the story progresses forward so that it's not just talking points all the time. So I'm gonna include some of the clips that I just talked about about the iPhone and include that into the video so that it makes it a little bit more alive. And then we're gonna have this song playing in the background. Just gonna find a nice rhythm of the clips so that we don't drag them out for too long. Because if there's something that I've learned, it is that even though you shoot for like 10 or 15 or 20 seconds, somewhere between like two to six seconds is more than enough 
for the video to actually progress forward, depending on what kind of shot it is, of course, but that is usually my guideline that I got. For example, if you look at this clip, you can see that it might be a little bit more interesting because we have the sailboat coming closer, but we're just gonna take this part right here. Cut the music right here because it got silent. And just basically using the same kind of principle as I did previously, trying to just find the pacing of what it is that I'm saying and trying to piece that together in some sort of interesting thing to watch. These kind of shots are supposed to go really quick, so we don't want to drag things out. The cool thing with storytelling is that at this point, you know that I've filled up the car, so we don't need to have like a transitional point of where I'm actually driving the car, even though it can look good on some occasions, but what I would like to do is probably have some sort of drone shot or something similar, but since I don't have that, we're just gonna jump straight to the studio. And that is basically all that I do to edit the vlog. I try to make sure that I cut out the fat off the video, that I move around the clips during the day that I've shot so that it's not a linear fashion. And I also try to make sure that all the clips have a nice flow in them so that you don't have something that's too dragged out or maybe a clip that doesn't really fit and make sure that you're not saying the same thing twice because if you do, make sure to cut that away. And in my opinion, the vlog is supposed to have a good pace so that you don't get bored of it. And music is definitely something that helps to be able to achieve that smoothly throughout the video. And being able to have the built-in library with sound effects, music, all that good stuff here in the actual hit film program, that is sick. And the cool thing with editing is that same principle applies no matter what kind of program that you use. I'm gonna drop a link down below because this is a good program if you're looking for something to get started with. Head over there, check it out. You're not gonna be disappointed. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that. And uh, don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Huh? And uh, oh, have a good one. Peter von Sweden, signing out. Take care.